we've decided to create a Whoop Wednesday. So this morning, Chef Mark's joined by Kristen Staines, who is one of the recipe creators at Whoop. Good morning, team. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. I've got Kristen in the kitchen today for Whoop Wednesday. And there's a fun fact for you now. I used to work with Kristen many moons ago, and I taught her everything she knows now. He thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a fantastic recipe for you today. So what are we going to be cooking today? So today we're going to be cooking a chicken marbella recipe, which is a classic from the Silver Palette cookbook. And at Whoop, what we've done is added um, saffron rice for sunshine from the south of Spain, a nice roasted tomato and green beans. Fantastic. Well, that sounds awesome. So if you want to see that, stay tuned a little bit later. Now it's over to Mel. Charlie, great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And welcome to our new Whoop Wednesdays. And today, Whoop recipe creator Kristen Staines has joined us to show us how to make from scratch her chicken marbella with saffron rice. And how are you? Welcome to the cafe. Thank you. Nice to be here. And it's great to have you here. I love Whoop. I use Whoop nice and easy and you are the creator of this particular recipe so what are we going to be making today um so today we're going to make a classic dish which i think everybody has their version of it yes um i love it because it's big rustic flavors and i like that kind of thing and i think when you make it at home you don't have to exactly measure but obviously for us at whoop when you get it you get it with your sauce completely made and ready to go and it's just all that bit easier yeah it's going to save you a lot of time and you can yeah. see one of the whoop boxes there the chilled box arrives in your home on a sunday evening so you You've got the week ready to go. Um, it's so good to have you here. You once worked with Mark too, didn't you? Yep, I did used to work with Mark. Was he bossy? He claims he taught me everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to work that one out. No, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to need your help today. Um, <laughs> Maybe he could learn something from me well, now. Well, that's right, that's right. Okay, so what are we underway with to start off? So to make the actual Marbella sauce, it's pretty simple. It's red wine vinegar, white wine, garlic, classic flavours of... Um, capers and prunes and olives Yum. and the nice thing about it is I really like where you get that mixture of sweet, salty, mm. sour and it works really well with the chicken and stops it drying out and the amazing thing about this dish is you can make heaps of it and it's great cold the next day. Brilliant, we like that, you can take some to lunch the next day. Uh, and the great thing is too, is that you don't actually have to make the sauce when you get it through Whoop, it comes here handmade in this little container, and this is the great thing, it's all colour coded, so you're thinking, I'm going to make this tonight, you just get into your fridge and you take everything that's got the green label out, and you know that that's all the ingredients that you use. So we speed up the process with Whoop. Where did this dish originate from, what country? Because something about Whoop that I like is they take yeah. it on a tour so of we the world. look all over the world, this dish actually comes out of a classic cookbook, the Silver palette that okay. anyone that loves cooking has this cookbook in their kitchen and in the recipe book collection. Um, very famous late 70s, early 80s, the Silver Palette in New York. Um, and they again, they say the chicken marbella recipe is all about the fact you can have it hot or cold, parties, dinners, whatever. Um, and then we at Whoop decided to add saffron rice to it to sort of mm. remind you of the sunshine in the southern south of Spain. I just love the yellow of it. It yeah. makes me think sun, happiness. And um, yeah, and then green beans and roasted tomato. Because I love on. I love chicken, so it's nice actually to just to do something a little bit different, and that's what you can do at home right now. So Mark, you've been doing all the work for us. Yeah, yeah. like normal. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh. And I just I do need to tell him what to do now because he needs yeah. some chopped okay, parsley. Okay, you don't doubt. Are you <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you forgot your chopped parsley. <laughs> okay. So he's going to chop up the parsley, and we've put olives, and what else was so in So you've got olives, capers, prunes, yes. yep. red wine vinegar, That's white right. wine. Can't go wrong with white wine and chicken. Always put it in mm. there. And um, then what we do is we're going to put the chicken into the oven tray and bake it with that sauce. Heaps of parsley. I yes. always think you can be really heavy-handed with herbs. Great. Gives it lots of flavour and keeps things fresh. Great. And then after that, we're going to go into making the saffron rice. And speaking of fresh, where do work get all their produce from? Because... One thing that I've noticed when I get the work box at home is that everything smells so fresh. We're really fortunate. <laughs> We're really fortunate that we can buy from market, so we right. get our product as fresh as you can possibly get it. It hasn't been sitting around for weeks, you know, in a shop or whatever, and we're so lucky with that, that we've yeah. just got built fantastic relationships with our suppliers. And all the food is fresh, no preservatives, and it just means no. that you've got that full flavour. It's like you've created a restaurant at your home in 15 to 20 minutes. It's incredible, Pretty much. isn't it? I mean, it? the yeah. thing is that when you get your saffron rice, it is just rice, saffron, a bit of salt and water. Right. There's nothing else added to it. Right. So, you know, you know that you're still getting that nutritional benefit and, you know, tasty food. And everyone, yeah, that's it. Everyone loves you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So that is uh, saffron. Yes, yeah, so yeah. speaking of saffron, so we've just got some warm water there. Yep. Um, and then we just put the saffron in, so it's going to bleed it out. So this is the stock, what you're going to cook the rice in. Nice. 
Okay, cool. And as you know, with Whoop, everything is pre-prepared for you, so you can do this in half the time that we are doing it. We're going to show you more of how to prepare this Whoop recipe with our Whoop Wednesday in just a minute. Yes. It's the saffron rice and the veggie side we'll show you straight after we catch up with Holly. We need to get whooping because this is a Whoop Wednesday. This is where you can order the delicious meals delivered to your door in a box on a Sunday evening in a chilled box and then you're set for the rest of the week. There's lots of different options. We'll tell you about them soon. But right now, one of the options which could be delivered to your door this Sunday is what we are doing today, our Marbella chicken with saffron rice and the veggies. And the creator is with us for Whoop Wednesday. Used to work with Mark. Um, so she's enjoyed this little reunion, haven't you? I have enjoyed it. Putting them to work. Absolutely. I like the bit where I get to tell them what to do. <laughs> right, speaking of which, what are we up to now? So we're up to doing the oven roasted tomatoes, right. which I really love tomatoes because to me they're just summer. Right. You know, when tomatoes are in season, you know it's summer. And then roasting them, of course, brings out the sweet flavours and it just goes really well with the rice and the chicken marbella. Brilliant. And the recipe card shows you how to prepare all of this. It's Absolutely. pretty easy. You're slicing in half and you're putting on an oven dish yep. and, and well, yeah, seasoning. It's, it's really simple, but yeah, as Kirsten was saying, it's you know, you just get maximum flavours with those really beautiful ripe mm. tomatoes. And it's that little bit of heat as well just softens and softens them, brings out the sweetness as well. So just salt and pepper, a bit of olive oil into a hot oven for about what, four or five ten, minutes? Ten, ten minutes. minutes. There you go. <laughs> nice. And let, let's have a look at the beans because that's the other element yep. we've got. So these will arrive in your box. Yeah, so we've got some beans, so we just we'll just take the top off yep. of the beans you can leave the little tails on that's fine and then you know it's entirely up to you now you can leave them whole or would you like to cut them in half what do you leave do leave them whole leave them whole leave check them with, whole with the boss <laughs> and then so some boiling water lightly salted pop them in and they are not going to take long at all so have nice. everything ready to go and then the beans come out and we serve that's no great. absolutely and the saffron rice as well we've just brought it to the boil on that beautiful saffron stock oh that smells rice incredible goes in bring it back up turn it right down on the lowest setting keep the lid on throughout the cooking process Except and for those ones that like to have a stir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it will oh. just absorb all that beautiful uh, stock and flavour <laughs> from the saffron. <laughs> And this is the thing, you see, this is what happens when you get Whoop. It's all pre-done for you. So it comes in this beautiful pack and you can see the little flakes of saffron there ready to go. So this is what you get. It means you don't have to do all the preparation, which really saves time, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I, I love the fact that Whoop just make it so easy. And the great thing is, is that it actually is delicious. And I, I like taking photos of my food <laughs> that I make from Whoop and comparing it to the photos that they've got. And it's always pretty much bang on the money. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And look, and you guys do, you create a lot of different varieties as well. I mean, we're concentrating on the foodie box right now, but there are gluten-free options and family options as well. And they deliver in Auckland, Wellington, Tauranga and Hamilton. So check out the website because this could really revolutionise the way you cook during the week. OK, if you would like to order one of your Whoop food boxes and get this recipe for Sunday, just head along to their website, whoop.co.nz. Plus, we have the chance for you to win a Whoop food box on our Facebook page. It was very popular last time, so get entering now. Well, as you can see, our Whoop box, our chicken marbella and saffron rice has turned out brilliantly. Yum. Well done, guys. Looks fantastic. It smells yeah. awesome as well, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it smell amazing? And if you want to make this the easy way where most of the work's done for you, check out whoop.co.nz to get your food box delivered this Sunday. And remember, you can win a Whoop box on our Facebook page.